very late at 7 p.m. right now because I was working all day so I posted my campaign with YSL Beauty today honestly it was so good I'm so proud of it let me just go on ahead and insert the little TikTok, the little Instagram reel that I made for YSL Beauty it took me a while to own who I was introverted reserved yet fierce feisty and bold an oxymoronic juxtaposition that completely embodied who I was. A six-figure platinum face card that will never get declined. You couldn't clock my YSL new bear look tin even if you tried. Go ahead, zoom in. Effortless, seamless, glowy, just like skin. Undetectable when I'll blend it in, but still slightly there like a glow from within. See, I like to flex subtle and slight. The inner work I do shows in how I shine bright. A touch of rouge fall up tail on the lips. Hold on, get the angle right. Shop YSL Beauty at Sephora and go and get your life. Okay, right, right. They wanted me to like do some storytelling around their new bare look tint, um, tinted moisturizer. So, honey, I got into my poetic bag. If you guys didn't know, poetry and spoken word is like my first love. I was really into that in high school and I'm still into it. So I like to tap into it here and there. So yeah, I'm really proud of that campaign. And I'm that's my second fashion house brand that I've worked with. Last year I worked with Gucci Beauty. Insert photo, okay, insert photo. I was so proud of that Gucci Beauty campaign. So proud of that campaign. And it's so cool, like during the same time, I believe November of last year is when Gucci Beauty hit me up. November this year, YSL hit me up and I created some cool content around their new bare look tint. So I'm so proud of that campaign and that content. And I just feel so grateful that I'm able to work with brands of that stature, brands of that caliber. Okay, so when my friend le left last night, y'all, Jose, I was literally so sad. Like, I don't know why, but just this overwhelming feeling of loneliness and sadness came over me. I like literally went to bed at seven o'clock. I didn't know what to do with myself. I didn't feel like going out and getting myself something to eat. I barely have any food here and um, I showed you guys my Keurig, but I remembered I don't have a freaking mug or creamer. So I was like, damn. I don't know. I just I just had this overwhelming feeling of loneliness and sadness uh, for the first time. You know, because I had my, my boyfriend here the rest of the time. And then when she left, I was really sad. So I just took my ass to sleep. I'm just, the only comfort that I have right now is my air mattress. You know, because I have somewhere to sleep, but... I need a couch. I already know what kind of couch that I want. I need a couch right there. I want this one by Living Spaces. It's only about $1,300, which I think is a good price for a section, for a sectional. So I'm gonna go ahead and purchase that real soon. I don't know when, real soon. I still, I, will, I really wanna be conscious about how much money I'm spending in one month. You know, I don't wanna just go ahead and spend this much money in November and then my birthday comes and I'm like, shit, I, you know, I shouldn't have spent that much money. So, I'm trying to be mindful and conscious of how much money I'm spending this month in November all at once, you know? Um, so, let me just show you what I got from Tarjay. I was going to go ahead and get that Ember coffee mug, but then I had forgot my Costco card today to go and just grab it. So, I was like, maybe I shouldn't be buying a $100 coffee mug. But it's $100 for a reason, okay? It keeps your coffee hot for literally hours. I was gonna go ahead and buy it, but maybe it was a sign. I forgot my Costco card, so I couldn't go in there. So I got a few things from Target. So let me go ahead and show you. Oh yeah, and then my Amazon order came, so let me show you what I got from Amazon. Okay, first things first, I got some more sparkling water. I got the Good & Gather Strawberry Mango. The Good & Gather brand from Target is so good. So got some more sparkling water. And then I realized I didn't have a plunger. Listen, y'all, I had a scare, okay? I had a scare. <laughs> and I was like, no, I don't have a plunger yet. So, um, good things were good. You know, the toilet is fine. 
the toilet is fine but now we have a plunger a very neutral gray vibe this was about twenty dollars i believe and then these are the two mugs i'm just gonna go ahead and start off with i have to wash them so i thought this was a cute mug it was only five dollars and it has an a for leah and then i just got the matching one for m Aaliyah michelle okay so we have an a hold on let's make them match I have an A and an M coffee mug, and I think that's really cute. It matches the vibe of the kitchen. You know, that's what I want. I need aesthetic, I need to flow, I need matching the vibe, yes. So, these are the mugs I'm gonna use for now until I go ahead and head over to Crate and Barrel. Um, but I like things to be uniform, neat, aesthetic, flowing. So, if I bought one mug, I had to buy the other and the M. So yeah, they were only $5. And then if you guys watch Kayla Cake, um, she had shared, I think she shared this on her Instagram, this Febreze wood scent. Girl, she said it smelled like a grown-ass, fine-ass man. So I went ahead and grabbed this because I realized I don't have anything for the bathroom yet or any bathroom scents. And then I just grabbed the pine smell. I love the smell of balsam, so those are our two Febreze scents. Yes, I'm wearing the same clothes. Don't ask. This is a stressful time right now. I'm wearing the same hat. Yes. <laughs> oh, and then as I was browsing for coffee creamer, I came across this Tazo Passion Tea. They used to sell this at Starbucks. I used to work at Starbucks, and this was the brand of tea that they sold. So, hey, I love me some Passion Tea. Went ahead and grabbed that. And then I figured, let me just... Oh, man. And then I figured, let me just go ahead and get some more disposable cups and disposable utensils. Until I go to Crate and Burrow and get my two plates, two bowls, two spoons, two forks, two knives. Okay, I haven't done that yet, so let me just make sure I have enough utensils, you know, to enjoy drinks and microwavable meals right now. And then I got some coffee creamer. So I got the pumpkin spice one by Coffee Mate. And then I just went ahead and grabbed the peppermint mocha one so I can finally have coffee tomorrow. I didn't get sugar. Honestly, I was going to get the sugar replacement that my mom gets. I feel like she gets from Costco, but also I feel like she gets from Trader Joe's. I have to ask her. But for right now, I don't need the sugar replacement. I think the coffee creamer will do just fine for me. So let me go ahead and put these in the fridge. This fridge is nasty. Can't wait till my new fridge from Best Buy comes, but this fridge, girl, ugh, not a white refrigerator, girl. And then I just needed some more mouthwash, so I got some Act mouthwash. And then I ordered some sponges off Amazon, and I realized I needed a sponge holder, so I just got this one by Threshold from Target as well. Very sleek and stainless steel. The last thing, just got some gum girl. And my favorite, uh, if you guys have not had this, it is amazing. It is way better than the cafe. Like when you go into Panera Bread and eat, this is 10 times better than the one that you can go eat at Panera Bread. It is their broccoli cheddar mac and cheese. So they turn their broccoli cheddar soup into mac and cheese. Literally amazing. Like I can't stop eating these. I should watch how many, how many I eat in a week. But voila, so good. Okay, let me go ahead and put this stuff away. And uh, I need to take the trash out. And then let's go ahead and see what we got from Amazon. Yes, our first Amazon haul. Our first Amazon haul, yes. I forgot to show you guys the most important purchase. This is my absolute favorite wine from Target. It's only $5. The California Root Sangria, but they have different kinds. Moscato. Pinot Grigio, Sauvignon Blanc, okay? Yeah, I was thinking one day, I was like, Sauvignon is such a pretty name. Cabernet Sauvignon, that's just such a pretty name. Like, I would damn near name my daughter Sauvignon. I'm not even playing with y'all. So anyways, let me throw this in the freezer real quick. And uh, yeah, I love this wine. It's so good. And it's only $5, and it's good. Okay, let's get rid of all these bags. Okay, let's unbox what we got from Amazon. All right, let me just open up this big box real quick and then I'll put y'all up higher. But girl, I ain't got nothing to stand nothing on right now. Okay. Gotta keep 
your blade on you. Period. Yeah. I'm cool. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Let me take everything out. First things first, I got this um, dish drying rack. Everything will be linked down below, by the way, if you want to shop anything that I'm hauling right now. So I'm just testing the waters. Like the things that I'm buying, I'm just going to test the water, see how they look. That's why I'm really not trying to make huge purchases at the moment. Like I said, I don't want to have to regret it and then deal with the hassle of taking things back. So I got this, this dish drying, girl, I can't even say it, dish drying rack. Because if you guys remember, I told you I don't have a dishwasher, girl, I know. Oh, hold on. One more rubber band. Ooh. I have to wash all the... Oh, no, my computer falling. Ugh. Computer stay just for a second. Okay, I got you. I don't know the thing about the fall. Anyways. I got a dish drying rack. There we go. It goes right over top of your sink. We'll put it right over top of our sink after I'm done. And you can just set it and dry your dishes on it. I shouldn't have to deal with many dishes if it's just me. When company's over, baby, disposable me. Period. So I figured that'd be helpful. And then I went ahead and got some sponges. Okay, is it just me or does anybody else's parents cling on to sponges for dear life like they don't cost 50 cents each? Is it just mine? Like, guys, I'm like, girl, you have a whole pack of sponges. Switch it out every week because otherwise it really just holds on to bacteria. Disgusting. So anyways, got some Scotch Bright uh, Greener Clean sponges. Honestly, it's the aesthetic for me. I didn't want the green and yellow sponges, no meow. So they're just brown, you know, soft, you know, that cream vibe. Baby, we're going to stick to the aesthetic by any means necessary. All right, then, I think, oh yes, this is my bathroom cavity because I need one. Cavity. Okay, so I got some shower caddies for my products. I think it just had, it's just adhesive, right? Girl, I hope so, where the adhesive's at. But anyways, this is what it's giving. It kind of, it semi-matches the appliances in the bathroom. I feel like the appliances are kind of dark brown, not necessarily black, but I'm sure you can't really I mean, I'm sure it's going to blend in, so just, you know, some sleek shower caddies that came with two in them. I hope this is adhesive. Oh, okay, yes it is. Cool, cool, cool. So what comes with this adhesive, uh, this part, the hook part clings on to the rack, and then the sticky part clings on to your shower wall. Your time, whatever, whatever you got going on. So I mean, I still haven't put the bathroom together. I'm gonna do that. I just haven't gotten to it yet. Right now, we're just relying on one towel that I did get from Target. That's the beige one. That's not really matching the vibe, but it works for now. And then um, the hand towel to be used as my bath mat when I step out of the shower. That's what we're using right now. That's what we're relying on. Okay. But I'm gonna go ahead and put the bathroom together maybe tomorrow, girl. I know I've been holding it off. It's just because I be having other things to do and then my mind wa Ooh, I gotta vacuum again and my mind wanders off. So, cute. I'm pretty sure these are gonna look cute in the bathroom. And then the last thing I got, some of this is pretty random because I was just trying to make it an even $100 order. So, some things were in my, I have an apartment wish list on Amazon. So I'm just slowly buying things from there. So this was one of those things that I wanted to buy. Oh, I mean, it's right here. So I got this heavy duty pan and pot rack because I know I wanna cook with cast irons. I think that's the only thing I'm gonna cook with, cast irons and Dutch ovens. So, 
I got a heavy duty like cast iron, basically, cause cast irons are pretty heavy, girl. First of all, get you a cast iron to knock a hoe out. <laughs> cause them, them boys is heavy, okay? So yeah, and you know, see my aesthetic? We're gonna stick with this, the, the brush, the brush metal, the stainless steel, the sterling silver, yes ma'am. So this will go in one of those cabinets um, probably right by the oven and then I'll start slowly buying some cast irons I think I'm gonna go to home goods for that. I saw home goods had tons of cast irons the last time I went But that was way before I moved. I was just looking in there for inspo, but they had tons of cast irons Costco also has cast irons, but they come in a pack of three and I don't think I necessarily want to buy three I think I just need like two, you know and, and home goods had them sold individually So I think I'm gonna just take my ass to home goods so yeah, let's go ahead and set all this up. That's all I got from Amazon. Not much. It's cra Oh wait, I'm playing. I'm playing. The order I was waiting on. The last one. Okay, let's open her up too. Oh yes. Okay, I got these command hooks for my Bissell vacuum and then the Oceder spray mop. So I can put them up in this little mini closet that I have so that, you know, they stay organized and they're not falling and leaning all over the doggone place. And when you open the closet, they aren't just falling out. So, yeah, I got these command damage free hanging and they're four brooms and mop grippers. I mean, they're four brooms and mops. So they're meant to hold those things. And I just have one vacuum and one spray mop. So that's what I ordered from Amazon thus far. I feel like we're coming together just a little bit. I feel like my Keurig made me feel like the home vibe, you know, was starting, you know, starting to accumulate. Is that the word? Starting to come together? Is that, I don't know if that's the word. So let's set this up, throw all this trash away. I need to vacuum a little bit in the kitchen because I was eating over the, over the counter and, you know, I had a little bit of cheese and a little bit of cheese fell on the ground. So we got to go ahead and pick that up. <laughs> Actually, pause. As I'm looking at this, I am waiting on one more order. And it's the under the sink organization. So that must be coming separate. Yeah, that has to be coming separate. It's not in this box, right? No. Okay, yeah, I'm just kidding. I'm waiting on one more item and it was something for under the sink. So I can organize my sponges and my cleaning supplies so everything has a place. That's my goal. I want every single thing to have a place, a cubby, an, a drawer a cabinet, a bin, something. Everything has a place, everything has somewhere to go. Nothing is just on the floor or on the counters. Every single thing I have has a place to go because I've never had that before. I've never had that kind of organization. I've always been in a cluttered mess because I just don't have the organization or the cabinetry or the drawers for everything that I've ever owned. So I'm excited to have that all come together.
Oh, you guys, the cabinet shelf is a little bit too low for me to put this in here and it's screwed into the wall. That means I have to unscrew it and lift it up in order for it to fit. Oh, or maybe it'll fit above the microwave. Oh no, it won't. It won't. Mm. Why didn't I just make it a little taller? Maybe I should put it above the fridge. Will it fit? Nope. Okay, I'll just get my boyfriend to unscrew the shelf and screw it up higher. But that actually seems like a very sturdy rack. Now I just have to go ahead and wash my two mugs and M. Ain't they so cute, y'all? Very fitting. Okay, we got a sterling brushed metal, what do you call it? Stainless steel paper towel holder. Stainless steel looking sponge holder. Then we have the drying rag and everything seems to be flowing and going together. That's the soap dispenser I got from Target. wait for my under the sink kitchen organizer to come so I can put so I can go ahead and put those sponges in there mm -hmm. 